Hello. Um, want to do another version of a gun, like my previous story. All right, so you're gonna go view background image over here, background image, and then use, and then load your picture, and then get in the top view by pressing seven, or you can go over here, top view and space add mesh cube and then you can scale the cube just to you, you just have to put it over here and then you can go into edit mode or press tab into edit mode and then use this the x axis to uh, scale to the size that you need and then you press g and grab it and move it down here and then do the same here. Make sure the edges are lined up. And then move it over here. Alright, and then I'm pressing E to extrude. So then you just kind of just keep extruding until you get the basic shape. And then people do this differently, this is just my way. Oh. So then you're going to grab this one, because you want this part to be lined up. So then you can just extrude that all together. And just extruding. If you know how to do this part, you can probably just fast forward. Alright, now I'm going to select all these. And I, I, I made them line up on purpose so we can just extrude all of them at the same time. Get to here. Get my sinks and everything. Alright, so that's looking pretty even. You can do the details if you want. I'm gonna do these little details. You don't really need to, you're not gonna say but I press W and then subdivide that. Now I'm basically just extruding. Alright, um you can do the trigger and all that stuff. It's pretty much the same thing, but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm not gonna do it. Um split area by right clicking. And then split. And then go over here to UV image editor and press image. Oh, if we already have it loaded, it's right here. And that's your gun. So now I'm gonna press A. Bring your cursor over here. If you if you did it with me the right way, put your cursor over here and press A. And then press U. And then project from U. And then you're just gonna use S to scale it up to the right size. And in some cases you may have to press like S X to scale this, but we don't need to. Alright, that looks alright. So there now we have our basic gun pretty much. And then what's new about this tutorial is the top. We can actually change to look um better than just like a repeated pattern so just select the top and then press 1 and then project from view so you can just take like a part of this gun and it'll, it'll look pretty good like that 
So then now we have our gun. I'm gonna go to background image. I'm gonna take it away because I don't really need it anymore. And then I'm rotating it up. So then now that we have our gun, um, if you press render, the texture doesn't render, but it does work in the game engine. If my game engine will work, yeah, it'll it'll work in the game engine, but it won't work in there. So you can fix that. Oh, also if you're using GLSL, it won't work. Or yeah, so we're gonna go over here in the textures, and then press Add New, and then up in the materials, Add New Image. Load up that image. Go back to there. See how it looks all wonky because it's just putting that picture on there. So I'll do map input UV. And now it, it put it like we want it. And then we can go over here to NOR and up that. And now I don't really know what the reflection of is of a gun. I'm just gonna do this. And then move our light up here. Now when we go into the rendered, it should look pretty. So there, that's a, that's our gun, and you can pretty much use this technique with like anything, like a car or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks. Subscribe.